Hey everyone, it's Serika and welcome back to the studio. So today I thought I would do one of my most highly requested videos, which is how I make my stickers. I already have my artwork ready to go. It's digitized on my iPad Pro. And if you need to know how to do that, check out the previous video I'd done for Vlogmas. It's called Digitizing My Drawings in Procreate. So since I already have the images digitized and ready to go, today's video is going to focus on using the Silhouette Cameo 3 that I have. That's my sticker cutting machine and how I program the software to cut the stickers in the way that I want them. The first thing I have to do is send this file to my computer. So I'm just going to hit this action button up here and I'm going to share it as a PSD because I'm going to do some rearranging in Photoshop and when you save it as a PSD, it will keep all the layers. I have each mug on a separate layer and so it will be very handy for me in Photoshop. Now I'm going to actually tap airdrop. I just want to airdrop that to my computer. And then once it's on the computer, I'm gonna now rearrange them into my sticker template. I already have a sticker template created, and this is the one that I use for pretty much every single one of my sticker sheets. I have my logo on the left, the name of the sticker sheet in the middle, and then my SKU code on the top right. I also have my website on the bottom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put cozy drinks in the center, replacing the other sticker sheet template and I changed the color of the other text to navy blue to match the images. I'm just going to tweak the word drinks a little bit, and now I'm ready to export this as a JPEG. So I'm just going to export it to a new location. I like to save all of my sticker projects in its own folder, so I'm naming this one DS57004 Cozy Drinks. And this is just a way for me to keep everything nice and neat and organized. Next, I'm going to take every single one of these mugs and save it as a transparent PNG file. And what I do is I just copy each one, crop this one a little bit, and then I quick export it as a PNG file. I'm going to save that in the same folder that I created earlier, and I'm going to name each one a unique name. So I'm going to repeat that step for every one of the other mugs, and I'm just going to speed that up right now. So this step does take a little bit of know-how in Photoshop. For that, I would suggest going to Adobe's website. They have lots of great tutorials on the basic tools and functionality of the software. I would say the same thing for Silhouette Studio, which is the software for the Cameo 3. So to recap, I have my sticker template, which is a five inch by seven inch rectangle. And then I saved every single image into its own file. Next, I'm gonna fire up Silhouette Studio and I already have my previous template in here, but I'm gonna replace that with the Cozy Drinks template I made in Photoshop. What I've done is I've made a rounded five inch by seven inch rectangle using the shape tool and I've dragged the file with the sticker template into that rounded rectangle. Next, I'm gonna drag every single one of these mugs into Silhouette Studio. When I scan my images in, I scan them at a resolution of 400 dots per inch or even 600 dots per inch so that I have a really high quality image to work with. So I do have to shrink my images down a little bit in order to get them to fit into my five by seven sheet. After I'm satisfied with the configuration of how everything's laid out and the size, I then move the rectangle over so that I can select all of the mugs without selecting the template. I then select trace and using the trace tool, I then play around with the threshold until most of the objects are completely yellow. Then I click trace outer edge. This allows a red line to be placed around each of the mugs and that is actually a cut line. So I select that cut line and then I click offset and I offset it by 0.05 inches and that leaves a nice little border around the images. I then select the original inner cut line that's right against the images 
it kind of takes a little bit of clicking around to get that and then I delete it. So once I put that back in, I realized that it's kind of a little bit too close to the title. So I fiddled around with it some more until I was satisfied. I also wanted to put a cut line around the Cozy Drinks lettering that I'd done. So I just did the same thing. I went to offset and then I pressed offset and then I went to 0.05 inches. And then I deleted the inner cut line from Cozy Drinks. Most of the time the cut lines are pretty good, but sometimes there'll be a weird spot. And you can double click on the cut line and edit the individual points that make up the cut line. All right, so now it looks like my sheet is ready to go. I just wanted to point out another really important thing before we move on to cutting. The outlines for the mugs are actually red, and then the outline for the rounded rectangle is a purple color. And you can change the color of your outlines by going up to the outline color tool. You can change it to whatever color you want. It doesn't really matter what color you choose, but I chose purple for the sticker sheet outline. I want that to be cut out. And then for the red outline, I want that to be a kiss cut. So you want to assign a different color for a different type of cut. As you can see here, the red outline is going to be kiss cut matte weatherproof sticker paper and the purple outline is going to be cut through sticker paper. All right, now it's time to print. I get all of my sticker paper from onlinelabels.com because they have great bulk prices and I am printing on weatherproof matte paper today. So I do a couple of prints on my Canon PIXMA Pro 100 and I like to play around with different print settings until I'm satisfied and that looks pretty good to me. So I'm pulling out the little arms of the Cameo 3 to support the mat. And this is just a generic mat that I got to save a little bit of money. Um, I line up the paper onto the upper left hand side and since it's, the mat is tacky, it'll just stay on. Still, I like to kind of press it down to really make sure that it adheres. Then I just go ahead and line it up with the machine and press load. And it'll just load right in Time to go back to the computer and press send. This will send the information over to the machine and it should start registering it. If all goes well, the machine should scan the registration marks at the corners and then it should start cutting my stickers out. This one right here is an auto blade, so it'll automatically change the height of the blade depending on the cut setting. Once it's finished, I then unload it. I peel it off very carefully, and then I test out the sticker. And there you have it, my first coffee sticker test sheet, and it was pretty good. All right, everyone, so that is my Vlogmas video for today, how I make stickers. I know that a lot of you are very curious about that. I've gotten this question so many times. So I'm actually going to go ahead and print several more of these and make them and then stock them in my shop. So I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.